Welcome back to Jenna's Kitchen. You know those soft pretzels you get at the mall at Aunt Annie's? Well today I'm going to be showing you how to make some soft pretzels at home. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to take one cup of warm water, put it in your mixer, two and a fourth teaspoons or about one package of yeast, and a teaspoon of sugar. that in there. So we're going to let it sit in the mixer for about 10 minutes until it proofs or it gets frothy. It's getting frothy. Yeast, water, and sugar mixture is nice and frothy and now we're going to add salt, butter, and flour. But we're not going to add our salt first because it will kill our yeast. So to protect it we're going to add a cup of flour. This is three cups of flour. One cup at a time. Mix it up a little bit. it with the hook attachment that is very important. Now it's safe to add our salt and this is one teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of butter, unsalted butter. for five minutes in here, but you can also knead it, and I'm gonna show you how to knead it with your hands. Okay, so it's kneaded for three minutes in here. I've already sprinkled some flour. I'm just gonna pat it everywhere. Boop, boop. Spread your flour everywhere, because everywhere your dough goes, you're gonna need some flour, that way it doesn't stick to your work surface. You're gonna need a little flour on your hands too. Okay, lift it up. Get all the dough off of this hook. Now push with the heel of your hand, bring it back up, push it. It is going to take forever. Your arms are going to be so tight. This is how people used to make bread back in the day. They had to knead their dough by hand, not in this handy dandy mixer right here. Strengthen the gluten structures in your rolls or pretzels. It's also kind of relaxing. Our dough is all kneaded. We're going to place it back in here. Take out this attachment. Place our dough back into our bowl. A towel over it. Let it rest for 15 minutes and it shall rise. So while our dough is rising, we are going to be making the baking soda mixture to dip our pretzels in and then they shall bake. It is very important that you make sure it's baking soda, not baking powder, because this will create the Maillard reaction that gives the pretzels that crust that we all love. On, medium, on. Yes, I got it right. Okay, so we're going to add two cups of water into our pot. We're also going to add four tablespoons of baking soda. I'm just gonna whisk it all together. Almost all the baking soda is dissolved. Now that our baking soda mixture has dissolved, almost, mostly all the baking soda, we're going to turn it off and let it cool. And then we're going to pour it in a pan. And by that time, the dough should be rising. Okie dokie, so we have our baking soda mixture. We're going to pour it into the pan. So we're gonna wake up the dough like this. Wake up, dough! It has risen. Take it out of the bowl. Come on. Come on out. Voila! Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pat the dough just a little bit. We don't want it too flat. We just kinda want it a little bit flatter than it already is. Take her knife, 
cut the dough in half this way. Don't want to cut the work surface. I'm be mad if he did. Okay. Cut it in half again. You want to cut it into eight pieces. You take it and you kind of jump rope effect it. It makes it longer. Then kind of roll it a little bit. Take it again and jump rope. Twenty inches. So now you would take your pretzel dough, make a U shape, twist them up here, kind of make sure your circle's big enough, take one of them, twist the other around, and place it down. The pretzel. Pretzel! Now we're going to place it into this baking soda bath for about two minutes. These last two pretzels are going to be cinnamon sugar ones, so I'm just going to put a tablespoon of sugar and about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Voila. Let's take them out. Put them onto our pan here. Shape them a little bit. Take some cinnamon sugar and sprinkle it on to sprinkle sprinkle. Already they're going to go into the oven at 475 degrees for about 8-10 minutes. Okay, so these came out of the oven and they look great. None of them are pretzel buns. I'm so happy about that. Look at this. Doesn't that just look gorgeous? And I also made some nacho cheese sauce to go with my savory pretzels. And for my sweet pretzels, I just melted some store-bought cream cheese icing. So, if you like this video, please like it and comment down below. And subscribe to Jenna's Kitchen. Plus, share this with your soft pretzel-loving friends. I cannot wait to try one of these. I'm going to have a savory pretzel. Tear a piece off. Dip it in my cheese sauce. Mmm, this is really good. Pretzel time.